The white cane is still one of the most common tools that blind people use to stay mobile. But think instead how valuable an electronic device would be if it could communicate information on the surrounding environment to its user. This technology translates images into sounds and vibrations. Kathleen gradually lost his sight during childhood. Nowadays, he teaches in a school for visually impaired persons, and he's among the volunteers here today at the University of Bucharest, testing a new kind of navigator for blind people. His experience will help researchers customize the device to the needs of the users. The system includes some 3D cameras that continuously scan the environment very fast, 20 times each second. Then we process this information with some computer vision algorithms and we break it into individual objects. And each individual object is presented to the user through some 3D computer generated sound. So he basically hears the objects and uh, through vibrations on a belt on his uh, abdomen. The blind person is guided in real time by those 3D sounds, together with vibrations or haptic feedback. The intensity of the feedback varies depending on the user's distance from the object. Researchers on this European project say it's like creating a new sense for visually impaired people who are also able to read signs, thanks to another application. The user, when he wants to read text because you don't want all the time, he just presses the button and the system looks for text and indicates him where the texts are, then he can look towards that direction and hear the text, like pharmacy or supermarket or metro station. First of all, I'm feeling a lot of hope for the future because uh, I want this system to work well. The system identifies the most important objects like stairs, doors or people moving around. Every change in the surrounding environment is immediately detected. Users can also customize some functions according to their needs. The blind, they only can see what the white cane touches, which means it only is around one meter in front of them and up to one meter in height. What Sound of Vision prototype does is allowing them to see further and higher up. Research on outdoor use of the device is being led by the Technical University of Ayash. For the likes of Uzebu to be able to use it in public spaces, the challenge is to handle sudden modifications, changes in lighting conditions, rain, or vehicles and people moving around. Regarding outdoor use, we are relying on stereo cameras, that two cameras that see the environment at the same time, and based on these two images, we estimate distance to the objects such that we can compute 3D information from the environment. You need to understand that this is a life critical application, so the system cannot fail signaling a, a, a dangerous situation like a hole in the ground, for example. From the moment I used this device, I felt a much greater sense of confidence and safety than I got from anything else I've used before. Researchers are currently fine-tuning the indoor and outdoor systems to combine them together. The next step will be to miniaturize the device for commercialization within the next two years.